Hey everybody, welcome back to the Suikoden walkthrough. This is the final, this will be the final video. So uh, I got, I just took footage of the, the final boss and then there's some, uh, just some random, I guess random battles right after. And then, uh, uh, and then you'll see the, um, I don't know, I guess the, the, the stars of destiny and I guess kind of like what, what they, what they did post game, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> Flick, I leveled up his, or I, I used magic stones there to get his magic up to 255. So that's why he's got nine of all of the, uh, of, uh, of his spells. Uh, so everybody is, looks like they're 65. <clears throat> um, you know, you get a, got a, a little look at how, how my characters are set up specifically, um, you know, rune wise. Um, so, you know, I guess I'd say grab somebody or bring somebody at least with like a, you know, I don't know, maybe a, uh, maybe a flowing rune, uh, just to do at least a little bit, bit of healing. Uh, I think it's recommended or I've, I've read, I guess in a few spots, it's not a bad idea to have somebody with a mother earth rune as well, but I didn't have one. I shouldn't say that. I, I had plenty of Mother Earth runes. I just never took anybody uh, to the battle that uh, that could use it. Or I didn't. I should should say I didn't equip it on anybody. Anyways, uh, I believe Pez Merge has got the killer rune. Victor still had the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the double beat. And that's not too bad here, uh, in all honesty, just because there are multiple targets. <clears throat> um, and... One of these heads you want to take out first, and I don't remember which one it is, so we'll uh, we'll have to see what the different attacks are and stuff, and I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make recommendations based off of that, but I honestly don't remember which one does which. And oh, actually, so it looks like um, looks like I actually had the clone rune on uh, on Pesmerja, not the not the killer like I thought. <coughs> So, uh, interesting pick, I guess. I don't know, maybe I felt like his accuracy wasn't good enough, but I don't know, whatever. It seems like a weird choice. I think, uh, I think I would have preferred having the killer run on him, but again, whatever. So, uh, there you go, finally, uh, you know, again, an finally another battle where the, the double beat rune is, I guess, a little more useful. Um... You know, once it once it gets down to that, once it gets down to uh, <clears throat> one head, I guess left that will be quite a bit less useful. But um, well, I guess we'll we'll see when we get there. Uh, I guess Kai wouldn't have been too bad of a pick for this fight either, just because again there are multiple targets, so. You know, it could have been a little more useful, but... Oh, uh, you know, if, if I remember right, so the different heads are weak against different... Different things, and I, I don't actually remember which one's which. That, that, so that last attack, that looked like it did no damage. Oh, maybe I missed something. <coughs> boom, boom, there you go. I got a little graphic slow down there, too. That was interesting. So Victor did 2,000 damage there that turn. You know, which, is, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, Kirk is here. What did I decide to do with him? I guess Healing Wind? I don't know. And then, um, Syl Sylvina must have the, the Rage Rune with the, uh, um, so yeah, just doing, you know, fire attacks. Again, not sure, not sure the, uh, I know, if I remember right, the, this boss has got different elemental weaknesses, so, um, I just, I don't remember which one's which. Okay, so, it looked like the one on the far right, I guess, if you're looking at it head on. Um, it looks like that one's immune to fire damage. Just just based off of um, 
that last fire spell because it looked like it landed on the first the the first head there and then the, then the next one over. Um, so it looks like the looks like the one on the far right is weak or at least uh, takes damage from lightning spells, so that, that's good, I guess. Or good to know. <clears throat> Uh, I had, I guess I had the, yeah, so my plan was to put the, the dragon incense or whatever on Pesmerja, and then just use that every other turn. You know, it's not, I mean, it heals 50, so it's, it's something, and it, it heals everybody, so I guess that's the, that's the real benefit of that, but, you know, in all honesty, this thing is cranking me for 280, 300-ish, you know, for every turn, so... I don't, I don't know, in the grand scheme of things, that's not very much healing. I guess it adds up, but whatever. All right, <clears throat> so that, it looks like we got the, the one head down. Um, so it looks like that the first one there on the, on the far left is weak against lightning as well. I'm not sure about that second one. It looks like it maybe is not. And uh, hopefully, you know, and I don't, I don't remember, but um, hopefully the, hopefully none of these heads have any type of, you know, like um, resurrection skill for the other one or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. But I just, I don't remember how this fight actually goes down. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess, um, you know, if you've got the clone, or if you're planning on using the clone rune, you might as well take the incense, I guess. Um, you know, otherwise, I guess, uh, if you're not planning on using that, maybe just Mega Medicines or something like that. Oh, yeah, okay, so it, it did look like one of the heads was able to revive the other, so I don't know. Maybe that just happens. Maybe one of them has that ability. I guess I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm actually sure. Again, I just, I only did this once, and uh, I didn't really, uh, I didn't, I don't know, I guess I just didn't, um, you know, uh, look, I didn't look up anything before I did it, I just kind of jumped in here, I was like, ah, I'm probably fine. So. <coughs> Um, okay, so anyways, uh, yeah, here, I'll just kind of list off the, the, um, the weaknesses and whatnot. It looks like the, the, the head on the far left, as you're looking at it, so like if, you know, we're looking at the screen right now, the, the head on the far left, here, that one, the one that Pesmerja just attacked, um, that is strong against water, uh, and lightning, and it has immunity to, uh, wind attacks. Uh, the middle head is strong against fire and earth and uh, is uh, invulnerable or has no weaknesses whatsoever, or I should say just you, you won't do any damage with lightning. Uh, and then the one on the far left uh, is uh, strong against water um, and not weak to, to fire at all, so you can't damage it with fire. And then uh, it's strong against lightning skills as well. So I guess, um, you know, it's not a bad idea to kind of have multiple different forms of magic going in here, uh, which is, you know, exactly what I did. I brought a, you know, I had a fire, fire rune, a lightning rune, and then, um, what would I have? Wind? I think wind is on Kirkus there. <coughs> so, yeah, I guess that's my, that's my recommendation anyway. Diversify. Nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm sure there's there's uh, there's ways to yeah. I, that's the other thing. I mean, in all honesty, you could probably take a bunch of physical you know attackers and and beat it down, and then just uh, just heal when you need to. You know, that would work too. All right. I'm trying to figure out here if there's a better way to beat this guy. I'm guessing that it probably makes sense to focus, like, if there is a head that that can uh, restore the other ones. You know, I'm guessing you're going to want to, uh, to 
take that one down first, but try to see if I can. Concentrate all your attacks on the third head. Um, okay. So, I don't know, I guess that's what I did. Just try to check it if there was anything good here. So, I mean, it looks like the strategy um, is to take down the, the one on the far, you know, far right, I guess. And then and then take out the uh, the first one, and then the middle last. That's what it's looking like. So, that's it. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like the the uh, maybe it was that middle one that resurrects the other one. So I don't know why we wouldn't want to actually kill that one first. Maybe there's something that I'm not that I don't know about. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. Um. Anyways, uh, he goes. To, you know, I don't know. You don't really even have to worry so much about the strategy if your characters are, you know, as leveled as mine and have, you know, rank 16 weapons, you know, so, I don't know, I guess, I guess even kind of just going into it, you know, with a couple of, uh, I, I would still, I guess I would, probably my biggest recommendation would be to take like a, a flowing rune or something, a uh, flowing rune with, you know, just so you can group heal a little better. I didn't really have that and it kind of felt like, I don't know. Kind of felt lame, just because uh, my healing was. Uh, I think I did. What did I do? I did like uh, Kirkus's rune a couple of times or something like that, and that's only a single target heal, so it's really not that great. All right. <clears throat> So, Windy, after the Soul Eater, right to the end, right, uh, you know, obviously recognizes that the Empire is dead and doesn't really care. She just wants the rune. All right. So here we've got some, some funkiness going on with, uh, the four characters that were their souls were taken by the soul eater again kind of weird being that we actually get Gremio back so I mean is Gremio walking around without a soul I don't know but well I guess it is what it is Alright, so just doing a little more reading. It actually looks like the left, the head on the far left, is the one that heals. So, I don't know. I guess maybe I just did it wrong. I picked the wrong head. Should have probably, you know, because I think I, I think I targeted that, that one on the right uh, first. And thus, um, I'm, I'm guessing that. So then, if that's the case, then the left one is the one that uh, restored, restored that one on the right. So, again, I guess, you know. I would suggest then take down the, the left head first. <clears throat> As a result of my mistake, I lost my empire. What kind of land will you create in its stead?
All right, so what's he planning? Farewell. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, so Barbarossa takes himself out and Windy in the process, or uh, at least that's how it seems. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the, if you know if that's how actually how it it plays out uh, based on the other games. I don't know if you know there was some trickiness going on. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. But um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. I just talked to the talked to the the uh, the generals here, and we'll take off. Uh, so yeah, so kind of interesting. Uh, obviously, you know, Barbarossa is not not necessarily a, a bad guy, but uh, well, you know, just I guess kind of got duped. I don't know by Windy or his, uh, her appearance. So I mean, I think the 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 bad thing I guess is it sounded like he was you know well aware of the fact that she was uh, I don't know. Not a, not a good person <laughs> or up to some trickery and uh, and kind of went along with it anyway though so you know he I guess recognizes that so anyways I guess he is he's at least trying to make up for it a bit by taking her out with him and there was it Victor or was that Flick that no, was Victor Victor stand, stays back trying to make sure that you live. Good guy that he is. And here I'm just, there, there's no point to fighting the rest of these battles, so I think I just let everything go. Oh, Flick catches an arrow. What a stud. When Odessa sees me again up there. Hmm, okay. Can't leave you here. Now we can fight to our heart's content. <laughs> um, Victor and Flick end up having a, uh, a Unite attack in Suikoden 2, so it appears as though maybe they learned some tricks here in these last, the last battles. I kind of like it too because it reminded me of, um, of the cross strike attack from Chrono Trigger. So if anybody has anybody's played that, the hero and, um, is it Frog, get an attack together, and it, it I don't know, it, it just reminded me of it. Alright, so everybody's kind of gathered here in Krigminster. Our empire has been destroyed. <laughs> so Hicks, Hicks was pretty happy. Black is avenged. Okay, and here we have Matthew. Yes, undoubtedly. All right. I despise war. <laughs> so, 
Such a contradiction. It's like, ah, oh, you know, I could never imagine, uh, you know, taking a life, and, and then he becomes a military strategist, which is exactly what he ends up doing. And there it, it, uh, it looks like Matthew passes away. So, kind of sad, but... You know, I mean, in all honesty, he's kind of the one that put an end to the war. So, you know, even if that wasn't what he wanted to do with his life, you know, it kind of turned out okay, I guess. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to pretty much let the, uh, the credits or, I don't know, you, could, you get a little, some, some um, scrolling here that just kind of tells you what, what happened to everybody at the end, so... Um, and again, so this is the ending with Gremio too. So uh, this will this will change depending on if you got Gremio back or not at the end of the game. So uh, like I said, I'm gonna let this play out, but uh, hope the guide was helpful. Uh, you know, hope hope you joined the er, uh, enjoyed the game as much as I did, and uh, hope you join me for more videos. I'll be we'll definitely be doing more doing more walkthroughs. So all right, thanks for watching.